Tonight we have some new numbers just in from the Georgia election officials who say more than 300,000 Georgians cast their votes today. Now that blew up the previous record of about 233,000 votes in one day. Cobb County had the highest raw vote turnout today. 11 Allies Joe Ripley reports on the toll that can take on those election workers still trying to catch up from the last election. The rush before the runoff, Monday kicking off the state required period for early voting in person, which has seen long lines in most metro Atlanta counties. We want to try and get, and voters want to try and get their voting done uh, during a one week time frame when they normally would have three weeks to do it. Poll workers have less time to turn around too. Cobb Elections Director Janine Evler says there is a drop off in staff for the runoff due to travel and other schedule conflicts. Gwinnett Election Supervisor Zach Manifold says additional voter registrations and absentee ballot requests have kept his office busy. November 8th, we've been going nonstop, probably 12 to 16 hour days every day for the staff here. Um, we, we got Thanksgiving Day off uh, and that's that's been about it. It had been something like 56 straight days or something that most of the staff had worked without a day off. The shortened time between election and runoff has both Republicans and Democrats split on the matter. Longer lines certainly uh, indicate there is some level of enthusiasm, some level of engagement from voters. There's always a concern in a runoff that the enthusiasm and engagement is going to fall off a cliff. Organizers had to work overtime educating voters about changes, polling locations, hours. The shortened runoff period presents a particular burden for working voters, students, and voters who are traveling or temporarily living outside the state. Election workers say they will be ready for the thousands more to come over the next week. Election officials suggest to avoid the long lines we're seeing all over Metro Atlanta. You might want to go first thing in the morning or closer to when polls close around 630 or 7 in most counties. And they expect strong turnout come Election Day, December 6th. In Atlanta, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.